now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, The Beauty Myth. Learn the beauty secrets of the goddess next door in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, The Beauty Myth at online booksellers everywhere today. Comics or manga? That is the question I've been asking myself over the last few months after I attended Anime NYC where I met Chris L. Brown, the creator of Omega Black. Now, as everybody knows, for a long time ago in a ghetto far, far away, I aspired to be a comic book writer. And I studied all of these characters at Marvel Comics, DC Comics, and many other indies in the hopes of securing a writing position. However, with the comic book industry being so insular as related to bringing in new talent, and practically being in a state of decline where it may collapse, I'm really thinking about entering the world of manga and possibly doing a manga project with my characters instead of a comic book project. And when I look at the re reactions I have received on Facebook for the covers I hired Musi J and Kosi to design, for Isis the Beauty Myth and Isis My Sister, My Frenemy, that's one of the things that has me leaning more towards the manga side versus the comic book side. And that's because when I posted the covers for the refresh on the Beauty Myth and My Sister, My Frenemy, I received an extremely positive response and even got some sales almost immediately from revealing those two covers of two books that all, that struggled for many years, and one of those books that was on the lousy book cover list for years has actually gained a brand new life, all due to that manga cover. And people really loved those manga visuals as related to Isis, and that's again one of the things that has me really motivated to go out here and do a manga project with the Isis character. Now, the things that really, again, that have me excited about this manga project is the whole idea of reaching new readers, because manga has a younger audience, and from what I see at Anime NYC, a lot of people were really enthusiastic, a lot of people were excited. I mean, and when I went to the Javits Center, it was a whole different energy. The kids practically were there looking for their favorite characters, looking for their favorite stories, and when I was at Chris's table, they were looking at Omega Black, and they were looking to look at new characters. So, I believe I could reach new readers with The Adventures of the Goddess Next Door, and I believe I could reach a large audience of young reader, young girls with the Isis character, who's already gotten an international audience in the paperback world, but I believe we could reach a larger audience with a manga version of the character. Now, the only thing that has me having reservations is the cost of such a project, finding an artist who could stay accurate to the models of the original Isis I designed, and somebody who would be just as passionate as I am as related to that kind of story. So, I really would love to do some of the Isis stories like Samurai Goddess and the Beauty Myth in a manga format. And it's something that I, I'm really thinking about doing as related to the character and the stories. Now, I believe Isis and Easting would translate well into a manga format. And it's something that I know would be a good fit in that format. But as related to John Haynes, I don't know if he would do well as a manga, but... I, I'm willing to give it a try, and I'm really thinking about taking this risk and going on the manga side, because again, this is where the audience is growing as related to the comic medium. This is where you can present more balanced stories, and this is where you can literally have a lot of fun, because the artists there are more enthusiastic and are more excited about storytelling. So when I look at the manga side, I see a completely different energy. I see a lot of passion, and it really has me thinking about doing a manga project. But 
I need to know if there's going to be an audience that's going to be out there. That's one of the other things that has me having reservations is, is there an audience out there? And would you go out here and buy an ISIS manga? Just let me know what you would like to see. And if there are any artists out there, let me know if you could do an ISIS manga out here. So I'm looking to really think about doing this kind of project. It's still up in the air, but the more I look at the world of manga, the more I'm thinking about trying to find a way into that world rather than keep butting my head against the world looking for a door to get into the comic industry. Because, as I see it, the definition of insanity is doing the exact same thing and expecting a different result. And the comic book industry has been crazy, as I see it, for the last 20 years. Now, I don't want to walk away from comics, because comics were my gateway to reading. But if I can get in the door with manga, I'm thinking about heading towards the manga road. And I'm just thinking that because, again, I want to go where the readers are, and I want to be able to share my stories with readers out here. And it's always been my dream to produce a comic book, but maybe that's not the way God wants me to go. So I'm thinking it's maybe it's time to go out here and do a manga instead and see where that takes me. Now, all of these plans are up in the air, and I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but this is where I, I would like to give it a try. I would really love to do an ISIS manga, and if you want to see me do an ISIS manga, you can donate to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App and by clicking the links in the description box. And I'm hoping to do a little bit more research on mangas to learn how much they cost, how much the page counts are going to cost, and if this is f more feasible than doing a comic. So until I finally finalize some plans, you can pick up books in the ISIS series like The Beauty Myth and My Sister, My Friend and Me on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle formats. And that's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.